Hi, I'm Ali from lovealley.co.uk and this is my pattern for the Call the Veterinarian Blanket. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make the distinctive paw print pattern that passes through this blanket. I'll be using UK terminology but I'll also give some indication as to what the US terms will be. So for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to be using Paintbox Simply Aran in this lovely shade of pink. This is shade number 250, it's 100% acrylic and it's a 100 gram ball. So if you're going to be using something other than an Aran yarn, say a double knit, you should go down to the corresponding hook size. So in my case I'm using 5 mil hook to go with my Aran weight yarn. If you're using a double knit you should go down to something maybe a 4 or a 4.5. Four it's really important to read the notes before you begin. You'll notice that the beginning chain of each row doesn't count as a stitch. You can also increase or decrease the size of your blanket and that all depends on your beginning chain. So just start with a multiple of 16, add 6. So I'm going to start. Let's find the end of the yarn here. So I'm going to make a slip knot. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to chain as many. So I'm going to start with multiple of 16, so that'll be 32, add 6, so that'll be 38. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's 38. So the first instructions are is we're going to do a UK treble crochet. So in the US this is a double crochet and this will be in the sixth chain from the hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to go straight into there and make our first treble crochet. So what you'll see is this creates a kind of gap and that's okay, that's going to be the corner of our blanket. This blanket is made up of gaps um, in the true filet crochet nature. Um, you'll be crocheting into these gaps quite a lot so make sure that you don't miss them. So after we've done that you're basically going to chain one, skip a stitch, so that's that one, and then treble crochet or US double crochet into the next stitch like so. And you're going to basically repeat that up to the end. So you're going to carry on so it looks like that. And I'll meet you there. So I'm just coming up to the last few stitches here. So I'm doing my treble crochet into this chain. I always find it difficult to get into the chains, but it's worth it. So chain one, and then we're going into this very last chain over here, if it'll go in. There we go. So that's step one complete. That's your first row done. So you've got these lovely little gaps that will form the border and this will be the border around all the little individual squares in the pattern and the border around the whole blanket. So it's not quite the end of the row here. So what we have to do is we have to chain four. One, two, three and four. And then we're going to turn our work and then we start on row two. So the instructions for this are skip two stitches. So remember, this was not a beginning chain, this was a treble crochet. So we're gonna skip that one, and we're gonna skip this middle chain here, and we're gonna go into this treble crochet here. And we're gonna do 15 double crochets, so that was the first one. And here, you can either go into the chain or you can go into the gap. So 
I find it a lot neater if it does go into the chain. I find it sits a lot more easily, so I'm going to go into the chain for this tutorial. Two. Try not to split the yarn. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So when you finish on your 15th stitch, you'll see you'll have reached this gap here. So what we're doing here is we're forming the boxes, effectively what I'm going to call them, where our paw prints are going to go. And this section here, we're going to do a border that goes around that box. So what we do here is we're going to chain one. We're going to skip this chain stitch here. Remember that counts as a stitch. And then we're going to go into the next treble crochet and make another treble crochet. And basically we're going to continue making groups of 15 treble crochets like we have here all the way to the end, not forgetting this middle one here. So it's treble 15, chain one, and then treble 15 again. And that's basically your repeat for row two. So I'll meet you there at the end. Okay, so I've just done my 30th, 13th, sorry, treble crochet. I'm just going to go into the 14th. 15th and then don't forget about this end one here we're going to do a chain one and then we're going to make a treble crochet into the very top of that original chain six at the beginning um, so you'll need to go into kind of like the third one up just whatever looks natural really and there you have it so that's rows one and two done and you'll see this little gap here is forming so that will create our borders around our boxes So the end of row two, again, says to chain four. One, two, three, four. And throughout the pattern, that obviously means a treble crochet and the chain one gap. So we're gonna skip two stitches, because remember, this one isn't a chain. This was actually a proper treble. So we skip one, we skip two, and we go into this third one here. And that's what we're gonna do every row, because we're gonna form this nice block of gaps all the way up the side of the blanket. So row three, treble crochet in the next five stitches, so I've done one here, and we're going to go two, three, four, move my yarn out of the way, and five. Now we're going to chain five, so one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to miss the corresponding five stitches underneath. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to skip those and then we're going to make another treble crochet. So that'll be into the sixth stitch and we're going to do five treble crochets there. So this is a fairly quick and easy row. You haven't got the pain of having to treble crochet in 20 chains. So three, Four and five. 
five. So you'll notice here we've just finished this block and we've come up to this gap again. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and then we're going to repeat that process. So we're going to treble crochet five stitches, chain five and then do another five treble crochets and then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm just about to do my last, this is my fifth treble crochet in this group, if I can get it through that little hole there, there we go. And again, I'm going to chain one, and I'm go, going to go into the third chain of this chain four lot, so about here. If I can actually get it into the middle of the stitch, there we go. And what you're doing is you're enunciating, I guess, or that's probably not the right word to do, highlighting the fact that this was your chain four, so you're kind of making it look like a chain, um, a treble crochet and a chain one gap now by crocheting into the top of it. Okay, so we're just going to finish off row three now. So once again, we're doing a chain four. And now we're going to turn our work again. There we go. So row four, it says to skip two stitches, so you should be familiar with this now. We're going to skip this one because it was never a chain. That one. And then we're going to go into this one with a treble crochet. And we're going to do three treble crochets. So one, two. Try not to split the yarn. Ooh, I'll redo that one. One, two, and three. We're going to chain one and we're also going to skip the corresponding stitch underneath, so that's this one here. So we're going to treble crochet into the next stitch, which will be that one there just before the chain. And then we're going to do five double crochets, so in US terminology this is a single crochet. So we're going to do five of them into here, so one, two, three, four and five and this is kind of highlighting I guess do dogs have palms? it's like the palm of the um, of the paw so we're going to do five double crochets into that chain space then we're going to go treble crochet into this stitch here so that's the next stitch we're going to chain one we're going to skip the corresponding stitch and then we're going to treble crochet into the remaining stitches I say remaining it'll be three treble crochets but it'll be the remaining stitches in that block. So what I mean by a block is when you come up to this filet gap here. So there you go. So that is effectively your one block before you get to this border. So to carry on, you're then going to chain one, skip the corresponding stitch and go into your treble crochet here. And you're going to carry on with the block just as I showed you. So another two treble crochets. and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I've just done the last three trebles of this group. Let me put my hook back in. And we're just going to chain one, and then we're going to do the last treble into the third chain of the original chain four. So there we go. So that was the end of row four. We're just going to do the last chain four. Three, four to get us on to the next row. We're then going to turn our work and then we're going to start on row five. So again we're missing the first two stitches so that's this one here and the gap and then we're going to go into this third one. We're going to do five treble crochets. So this was number one, two, three, And then this fourth one, we're actually going to go into the chain. So remember that chains count as stitches. Don't omit them. So four and five. So once we've done that, we're going to chain two. One, two. And we're going to skip the corresponding two stitches underneath. So that's one, two. And we're going to go into this third stitch here with a treble crochet. So that's the middle point and then we're going to chain two again 
skipping the, sti the two stitches corresponding underneath and then we're going to go straight into that one there and we're going to carry on with our five treble crochet so remember you need to go into the chain here so this will be number two pull some more yarn off two three four and five and that'll bring you to the end of the block so again what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and you're going to repeat the pattern again and you're going to go into this next stitch here so start again with your five treble crochets and I'll meet you guys at the end of this row so I'm just coming to the last few stitches so I've just done my five treble crochet and what you'll be able to see now hopefully is that you've got some paw prints so we've made the two little side paws here and the two front ones and obviously the palm I'm going to call it the palm um, so we're just finishing off row five so we're going to chain one and then pop that stitch into the third chain of the original chain four then we're going to chain four and we're going to turn our work there we go and basically um, we're on to row six now and row six is going to be a repeat of row two so we're going to treble crochet into 15 stitches so we're going to skip these first two and we're going to go into all 15 across don't forget that the chain spaces count as stitches so you want to make sure that you're putting in just as many treble crochets as there are chains into those either chain gaps or into the chain itself um, so I'm up to four and five and when you finish all 15 you're going to do your chain one to get you over into the next block so there we go so we're just going into the chain so this is stitch number six and number seven because don't forget we did two chains underneath seven and eight will be your middle one and then you're going to go for number nine number 10 chaining into the um, into the chains can be a little bit tricky so do your best if not just go straight into the gap And 15 and as I said when you get to this 15th stitch you're then going to chain one to get you across into the next block of 15 and just carry on like that till you get to the end and I will meet you there again okay so I've done my 15th stitch so I'm just going to chain one and go into the top again of this chain four and create my last treble crochet I'm now going to chain four again and we're on row seven so row seven is the same as your original row one so what this means is we're going to skip these two stitches and we're going to do a treble crochet we're going to chain one we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to go into the next one we're going to chain one again skip the stitch go into the next one with a treble crochet and what we're going to do is just do that all the way through to the end pull my yarn away there we go and if you've done it right, when you get to the end of your um, block, you should be in line with the filet crochet gaps. It's these ones, it's the end of the border at the end. So this is kind of your acid test to see if you've done it right. So fingers crossed, chain one, look at that and then you're just going to chain one and carry that on to the end and I'll meet you there so I've just done my last treble crochet and my last chain one and I'm just going to add another chain one into this third chain of my original four chain from the beginning of the previous row and what you'll see I've got here is two paw prints and they're separated out by blocks so these are the blocks around the edge and obviously the more that you crochet the more these will kind of square up obviously it could do with some blocking as well but there are two very distinct paw prints there this is a very easy beginner pattern just make sure that you are counting your stitches and that you're not forgetting that chains count as stitches also make sure that you remember that the chain for at the beginning of the row isn't necessarily a stitch on the new row that you're starting 
So I hope that you enjoy the Call the Veterinarian blanket. If you've got Ravelry, Pinterest or Facebook, I'd love to see your pictures or you can tag me on Instagram at lovealleyuk. Thank you for watching.